Alright guys, Warhawk Gamer here and uh, today I'm going to be showing you a very easy to follow simple tutorial for the Morse code and the words and symbols on the roof. Now a massive shout out to my main man Trident Flyer994 for helping me out uh, zombie training, uh, babysitting them and also helping me on a few steps um, throughout. So massive massive shout out to him. Um, so I'm going to show you the flyer locations first of all. And the flyer locations are situated in uh, six different uh, six, six different places. Uh, the first one being down the alley near um, Bomb Stoppers, and that's also just around the corner from the pump bar. The second one is going to be down uh, in the subway area where the moving train is. Um, as you can see there, there's the moving train, and if you look just behind the staircase. There is a flyer on the wall just there. Now each of these flyers do have their own little unique numbers, which I'll go and touch on in a little bit. Uh, but uh, just make sure you take a note of which number is where. It just makes your searching um, a hell of a lot easier later on. The third location is in the spawn area. There is open atoms and obviously the pillar with the power switch on. And then just in front of that, you have another flyer location just there. And the third location is situated just near the dojo area, just at the side. You do sometimes find the pink flyer there, just in the rubbish, and it's just below, and um, sorry, it's just beside that. Now, what I will say is the um, the numbers for the posters do change from game to game, and also if you fail it, they will also change. So make sure that you take a note of the numbers each and every time you go searching. And as you can see there, there's another location for a poster on the roof of the disco and that one's situated just next to the chief gate, just opposite power on the roof. Another location is just over the road from the dojo next to the mystery wheel and um, as you can see there it is on the, on the wall there. Again, these uh, positions are always the same for the posters, uh, it's just the numbers that change. So do take a note of your numbers guys because your numbers won't necessarily be the same as mine. Now, now you know where all the locations for the posters are, what you need to do is you need to obviously defeat the Rat King, get his eyeball, and then you need to make sure that you go around and shoot all of his symbols to turn all the telephones red until you have one phone left. If you don't, you will have one number like that, uh, one telephone like that, but once you've made it red and you've got one left, you will hear it ringing. Like so. Now once it's ringing, all you need to do is give yourself a little bit of space or get a friend like I did with Trident um, to zombie train um, or keep hold of the zombie for you while you go to the phone call and you will hear your Morse code. Now you do need to listen to the entire phone call and again, your Morse code will be different from my Morse code so don't worry if you can't hear my Morse code because I'm talking, you will be able to hear your own. Uh, but when you do hear your Morse code, um, what you need to do is just follow the, um, you know, the, the chart as follows. Now, there you go. You can hear there was four little bips followed by a dash, which indicates number four. And then it was just dash, 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 dash at the end. So for me, I knew that if it's a four, four at the beginning and it's a dash, dash, dash at the end, then all you need to do is run round, have a look at the number there, which is at the bottom of the post there, which will correspond to the dashes. And obviously, trial and error, go and find out the post if you can't find where it is. But once you find the post there, then all you need to do is press square, and there you go, picked it up. That's done. If you fail that step, you just need to repeat it. You need to go and find the, the um, racking symbols again. Once you find all the racking symbols again, then the phone will start ringing. Listen to the mark code and then find the correct poster. Once you find the correct poster, you put on the light and then it will show an X on a window. Now, once you've got the X on the window, what you need to do is throw an explosive through that window. It can be a rocket launcher, grenade launcher, an actual grenade, C4, anything that makes an explosion. Trident, unfortunately, did miss the first shot, but he did make the zombies into a crawler, which was a bonus. And then once you go in, it will disappear like so. And then ninjas appear. Now everyone knows the ninjas are hor horrendous in this game. They are the backbone of the, the, the most of people's deaths. But if, as you can see there, you'll see that they just spawn in front of that light. 
they don't spawn anywhere else in the map so if you can get someone to throw a grenade through that window and then someone stands there you can actually kill all the ninjas before they spawn and when you do you will get the first letter of your word on the screen now as you can see there i've compiled um, a list of every single word that it can possibly be within this sort of step so all you need to do is basically find the first letter go around the rooftop area and then find out what symbols you have here is a, a list of what the symbols look like and what they mean now again your word won't necessarily be the same as mine they are different from time to time and also the locations are exactly the same but the symbols are different from game to game and also from uh, from um, uh, from from word to word so if you fail then your symbols will be located in different areas uh, so so your your symbols will be different but they'll be in the same exact areas as what i'm showing you now and there's only six locations so it's not hard to find so then all you need to do is match up your symbols with the words that you need and once you've done that um just like i'm about to do here so um i filled the first one so it went from an r to a c so then i looked on my chart and i thought well it can be crane I ran around, I noticed there was an R, so I thought I'll guess on that one. And it is a bit of trial and error sometimes. Sometimes you might get the wrong letter, sometimes you might get the right one. What I tend to do is I go around and see what letters I need, and then look at what is the most likeliest for the word to be. So I thought, right, that's going to be R, that's going to be Crane. And then once I got the correct one, I heard a, I heard a confirmation symbol like that. You see the word on the, on the wall, and then it disappears. And then you're ready to move on to the next stage which is to fight the rat boss for the second time now sometimes it's a little bit hard sometimes it's not if you find that um fighting the rat boss gets a little bit hectic or it's getting a little bit too much because for one reason or another maybe you've got too many zombies maybe he spawns ninjas in which is oh, the worst thing in the world and i'm sure you'll agree the ninjas are like probably 90% of people's downs because this isn't like a, an overly hard map it has got some difficulty to it and it can be hard at times and um, but you know most of the time it's the ninjas the ninjas pop up when you run in front of you and they try to kill you so all I do all I'd done personally was I got me way down into the basement I started the the, the trap up so nothing can hit me and then I just laid into them easy as that that's gonna be it for the tutorial hopefully you've liked the tutorial if you have please leave a thumbs up if you're new to the channel please subscribe and um, for more uh, zombie content i am making some really really good in-depth tutorials which are nice and like simple though to follow so like i said if you're new to the channel please subscribe i do appreciate all the help and, and until next time this is warhawk gamer out peace guys thanks for watching and see you in the next one thanks